So one of the very few array methods that I haven't made a video about yet is the array from method. Now this one really just, it's about making a shallow copy of an array. If you have an array that's filled with nothing but primitive values, so strings, numbers, booleans, null, undefined, things like that, this is great. Makes an immediate copy. So if I took my variable here, nm2, and I want to make a copy of names, I would just say array dot from names. Simple enough. I can then do console.log of nm2, and I'll do another one of names, and we'll see that these are the exact same thing. There we are. So we now have a copy of this, and this is an actual copy. So if I make changes to one, it's not going to impact the other. I can come in here and say nm2 item, uh, let's see, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we'll say number 4, and we'll change that to Flanders. Run this again. There we are. You can see that nm2 was changed, but there was no difference to names. Simple enough. Okay. Now, with an array that contains primitives as well as non-primitive, so objects. Here I've got an object and an array inside of here. If I use the array from, it's still going to work. It's still going to make a copy for me, but you need to understand that it is just a shallow copy of this. So if we do stuff and then st2, run that. There we are. You can see that it is two different it looks like two different objects. They are separate. These are separate things, but there is here two things which are not primitives, and that means that these are stored somewhere else in memory. All stuff has is these two primitive values and then two basically placeholders. This points to an object stored somewhere else. This points to the array that's stored somewhere else. When I make a copy, I'm getting a copy of the two primitive values and then the reference to the object, the reference to that array. So if I came in here and I was to, well, let's say ST012. So I'm talking about the object with Smithers and then dot capital S on Smithers equals not Mr. Burns. Now, if I run this, not Mr. Burns shows up in both of them. And that's because we got a shallow copy, not a deep copy. The shallow copy means you still have just the reference that's being cop passed over. We're not getting the entire object passed over, just the reference to it. So if you make a change in the copy to this object, it changes it everywhere that object exists. It changes it here, and it changes it inside of st2, our other variable, where we copied. Okay, great. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you found this useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.